but sit and meditate for a few minutes. Hanam Pawana Sakpakna. Close your eyes. Try to settle in and be still. And watch your breath. The breath is here all the time for you to watch. The question is, are you going to remember? That's the duty of mindfulness. That's why we're practicing meditation, is to make our mindfulness stronger. Make up your mind that you're going to stay with the breath and keep remembering to stay with it each time it comes in, each time it goes out. Whenever another thought comes in, remember you've got to stay with the breath. Let go of that other thought, no matter how amazing or interesting or whatever it is. Because you've got to develop some good qualities of the mind, and mindfulness is one of the important ones. In fact, it's that together with alertness. These two work together to help you in any activity where you want to accomplish something. Because if you forget what you're supposed to be doing, or if you forget how to do it, it's going to be really difficult. You can learn all kinds of things, but if your mindfulness is bad, then when you get startled or when you get shaken up a bit, then you forget everything. That's as if you hadn't learned anything. I was talking a couple of months back to a woman who was an expert swimmer. She had been a lifeguard when she was younger. And then one day she got caught in a riptide, and she knew what she was supposed to do. She had learned in all of her safety classes what you're supposed to do when you're caught in a riptide. But in the moment, she forgot. She was just so startled and taken aback. Got swept out to sea and almost died. So that means no matter what, how much knowledge you may have, if your mindfulness is bad, it can't help you. So you've got to remember, keep stitching every moment of breath together. When you stitch the breath together with your mindfulness, then you can stitch other things in your mind together as well. Remind yourself of the things you need to know. What do you need to know? You need to know what's important in life. That's one thing to start out with. And what's important is the quality of your mind, because everything else comes out of the quality of the mind. If the mind is in good shape, then if you think of doing something good, you have the energy to do it. If you think of something bad, you have the energy to say no to yourself. If you can't say no to your bad impulses, then you're going to be ruining your life. And it's a shame, because the mind has all sorts of potentials, all sorts of good qualities that you could develop, and all sorts of good, good things it can do for you in your life. But if you don't take care of it, then it starts creating all sorts of trouble. So mindfulness is one of the things you've got to work with first, and then you use that to de develop whatever discernment you have and maintain that discernment. Keep it in mind all the time. Otherwise, you can learn all kinds of wonderful things, but then when the time comes to actually do them, you forget. In particular, when, you're, when you find yourself faced with something you like doing but you know is going to cause, cause trouble, you have to remember that you've really got to learn how to say no to yourself and learn how to say no effectively. Or the other things that you don't like to do but you know they're going to give good results down the line. How do you get yourself to do that? The mind needs strength, it needs energy, it needs knowledge, but mindfulness is what stitches all these things together and supervises them. The Buddha compares mindfulness to your, the governing principle in your life. Your ability to remember what's important, your ability to remember what's right and what's wrong. Keep it in mind all the time. It's not just a memory bank, but it's an active memory bank when you can access it any time. That ability to access it, that's the mindfulness. So you want to work on this quality to stitch all your knowledge together so you can apply it whenever you need it. It's what takes your knowledge and makes it really worthwhile. So. Take time every day to develop your mindfulness. Try to stay with the breath as long as you can, many, as many minutes, up to an hour is even good, even better. But make sure you do it every day as part of training your mind. It's like looking after your body. You take a bath every day, you brush your teeth twice a day. You've got to learn how to look after your mind, because your mind is even more important than your body or your teeth. After all, when you get old, the teeth fall out. Eventually you're going to have to leave the body. But you're not going to be leaving the mind. Wherever the mind goes, you're going with it. So you want to make sure you're going with a good companion. <laughs>